Dave, congratulations. That's a stunning win today. Um, what pleased you most about it? Um, out of possession, we were outstanding. Um, we listen, Coming into the game, if we win the last or last couple of games, then maybe you look at it and, and say MK Dons are, are more need to win more than we need to win. But we're at home. Um, I think we're better when we're on the front foot. We want to get 9,000 of our supporters involved in the, in the, in the game. So we wanted to be aggressive about how we go about it. We knew that as a result of that, there might be a little bit of pain to suffer early on if we got things slightly wrong and if, if players didn't defend well enough 1v1 1v, 1 or we had a little bit of um, a break of a ball or some good play um, got through us, which was the case. Um, but I think in terms of how we set up and went about it, we won the ball back in a great area after 10 seconds. And that was, we felt, going to be the way to, to unpick this, what are a really good team. Uh, and that, that proved to be the case. The first 30 minutes was, was a lot more even. That was nip and tuck, wasn't it? And, and they showed what they were about. But you, you even dealt with the threats then? Yeah, we did. We, we, we sort of split the game. So yeah. you, you, you have a choice, don't you, around how you go about it. They're two centre midfielders, the two deep ones, want the ball all day and will dictate games of football. So can you go and press with a minus one and, and press four against their five and the goalie? I think that's difficult to do. And you look at what they've done over the course of the season. They've created ch chances and created opportunities by teams being deep against them, allowing them to have to possession. We didn't want to do that. Um, so we went five, we went man for man, we went 5v5 five five at the top end and 5v5 five five this end, which meant that Todd would have to follow Alex Gilby into midfield and then Connor would have to do a job against Tomlinson on that on that side. Um, Ethan would follow um, Stephen Wern into midfield areas and leaving Fraser 1v1. One, one one. That was, the, I suppose, the, the way we thought would best or give us the best chance of, of going about it, frustrating, picking the ball up, and then when you pick the ball up, can you go and, can you go and hurt them and punish? Um, we the, we benefit from a mistake from the from the goalkeeper, um, which gives us a um, gives us a, a sort of foothold in the game. And the second goal again is a, a ball forward, which we we spoke about. Would we want to play more? Yeah, absolutely. But didn't think that was the way that we'd get most chances from the from the game. Played forward, ball drops to Campsy, great great run in terms of counter press and a great pass to get Paddy in and, and scores. Um, again, ball forward, drops down Paddy with the ball around the corner over the top for Tanto to go and, to go and score and that put us in a really good position. You then got a decision to make at half time around how you go about the, the second half. Um, I still wanted us to be aggressive, which which we were. Um, Connor scored a, a great fourth goal for us. That, that then, after sort of 60 minutes, 65 minutes, allows you to reflect on what you might need to do with players. You need to get off because we don't want to put players unnecessary risk because that was a, a big physical effort for, for 65 minutes to to press all over the pitch against the team that are good with the football um, so then to see out that like see out the game in, in the manner that we did I thought we can defend better when we're in a compact shape um, our communication and organization wasn't and, and, and still needs to be worked on but and the fifth goal is just the icing on the cake really and the goals um you haven't had millions of clear-cut chances today, but you were ruthless, clinical in front of goal today, and that's something you've been asking for. Yeah, we, we've had two, haven't we? We've had two, two clear -cut, well, I suppose Campsies ends up a clear-cut chance when the goalkeeper drops it, because um, he's got an open goal, but Paddy's is a clear-cut chance, and... Um, and, and Tantos is 1v1v1. One one one. You'd, you'd hope that... Um, being efficient, that they'd go and, go and take them, their big, their big chances. Um, in terms of what it what it looked like, like I say, I, I think we knew that in possession the game, from our perspective, might look a little bit a little bit scrappy. We might give up possession, but giving up possession in their final third in order for them to us be good out of possession. And I thought, like I say, I thought we were fantastic out of possession, um, which has won us the won us the game today. It's a bit of a, a statement win, this, isn't it? Because one or two teams might have been looking at you the last sort of five games. I know you were five unbeaten, but four draws, some points dropped. Teams might have been looking at you, but what a statement to win by five today. Yeah, I've just, I've just been asked that. Is it a statement win? It's a statement win if you go and win your next four, isn't it? And you, you, Is it a statement win if you lose the next two? No, it's not. It's a, it's a win. So you've, you have to go and make it a statement win and, and, and after 46 games, reflect and say, yeah, that was a win that really sort of give us the, the kick and the boost we needed at the, at the right point in time. There's been, there's been over the course of, I mean, Kate was speaking on, on the way in around, what games feel like and the importance of games at certain parts of the season, reflecting back from 
days at Fylde and going to Halifax and uh, on the back of not winning games and going there and winning winning the game one nil and what it what it sort of feels like. You should, now you've got to go and back that up now with four or five more feelings like that because if you can do that four or five more times, then you get the ultimate feeling of what what that feels like in order to to achieve something that we've worked so hard for over the course of the season all we've done today is is increase the gap over mk dons and put us in a in a stronger position and probably put a little bit more pressure on them in terms of the results they've got to get in their last last six but from our perspective it still remains the same we've got we've got games to games to win easter notoriously is a, a big weekend in football um and we go into it in a, in a good place and, and and hoping to go away and, and win and, and come back here and win and without doubt our, our performances and our games here will be will be will be pivotal three games left here um, against Wimbledon um, Morecambe and Accrington three games that we need to win and we've started that last four off with a, with a brilliant um, let's say out of possession performance today but most importantly a brilliant result and before all that of course you go to Forest Green bottom of the league at the moment everyone look at that and think oh that's a that's a three pointer but Actually, Forest Green have, have picked up in recent weeks. I know they lost the last two, but they're only a point from safety. They'll be scrapping for the lies, won't yeah, they? Yeah, I think everyone's right that says it, it's an easy three points, but don't think we're in any way, shape or form thinking that's going to be the case. Uh, I listened to, to Nigel speaking earlier at, at, with the Mansfield game, and this league is what it is. The bottom teams can beat the top teams, and that's that's what it what it looks like. Like I say, the three three of them now... Um, We've got to play all. We've got to play all three of them. They're, they're scrapping, yeah, and they're scrapping for. They're, I say they're scrapping for the lives, but we're scrapping for a prize from our perspective. That is our lives as well. So, um, three, like I say, three tough away games against against those three teams. Like you say, with, with all to all to play for. Like, we have huge objectives in front of us, just as they have in, in front of them. Um, we've just got to make sure that, like I say, we we perform. That, that today should give us. Um, comfort in the fact that if we're good off the ball and good out of possession regardless of who we play against we can create chances and, and we've done that today and, and, and been really efficient I said you look at what the last five games four draws for us was if you look at stats and data then the our expected goals for versus our expected goals against has been the highest it's been all season across those five games so listen, we've not taken our chances and put teams away when we've had the opportunity to and we've conceded some bad goals at the other end that's a good not a good recipe for for winning football Thankfully today um, we haven't. We've, I think, our expected goals was just over two, and we've scored five. If we can continue to do that for the rest of the season, then I'm sure we'll be in a, a really good place. Could have Sars back for Good Friday, do you think? Yeah, fingers crossed. Um, like I say, in awareness in, in hamstring, his output over the games he's come back has been really, really high. He's, he's a big loss for us, but I suppose comforted by the fact that Pauli was able to play 60 minutes um, so fingers crossed him back in the fold um, we should have Louis Barry back in the building with us certainly not to play but back in the building with us this this week which will be a, a big boost and and fingers crossed Noily potentially um, so them players coming back is at a good time for us our, our aim regardless of where, where we're at will be to try and have as many fit um, for that April group of seven fixtures which Again, ultimately going to be season-defining for us. Back up to second, six unbeaten. Well done, Dave. Cheers, John. Fantastic. Thank you, Thank you mate. Thanks,